It is official. The new Logic Pro 11 is here and the new Logic Pro for iPad 2 is now here and they have three key features and we're gonna focus on two today. So let's go ahead and get to it. Bolo. Yes, the new Logic Pro 11 is now available. And if you guys already have it, you can go ahead and upgrade to that right now. Now, if you don't have it, you can go ahead and pay one time. And with that, you get free updates and you don't have to pay for anything else anymore for now. And for you iOS users who have the subscription for Logic on your iPad, you can go ahead and upgrade right now. If you do not have it, you can go ahead and get Logic for your iPad for $4.99 a month, or you can get a yearly subscription for $49. Yes, for the iPad, there is a subscription involved, but if you are using the desktop or the laptop version, there is only one time you have to pay and you get free updates from there as of now. I don't know if anything is gonna change, but as of now, you just gotta pay one time and you get the free updates and all that stuff. Now there's a whole bunch of features that came with this update, but there are three key features to talk about. Now for my channel, I know most of the people came here to see the stem separation and we're definitely going to check that out. Also, they have a new saturation plugin called the Chroma Glow, which is actually very dope. And they have a new feature called the Session Players. It is basically a AI driven band that you can program to your liking. With this, you can add a keyboard player, a bass player, and a drum player to back up your tracks if needed. Now they use a AI technology to help program this and with the new chord track feature in here, you can go ahead and change up the chords and change up the mood of each one of these instruments if needed. Now, to be honest, I'm not going to be using the session players that much because I'm just a little bit stubborn, okay? I like to make my own stuff, or if I just want to use loops, I'd rather just go to Splice, or I'll just go ahead and get loops from people who make loops. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it is not bad because you can go in here, especially with your keyboard and your bass parts, you can go ahead and add chords, and you can change the mood of your actual track by just using a lot of parameters in each one of these instruments. Now, another thing you can use is the new chord track feature that if you do have your session player stuff pulled up, you can go ahead and change certain chords inside of the chord track and your session players will play according to the chord track feature. And just to be honest with you guys, there is another program that has that core feature in it. They don't have the session players now, but they do have that core feature in it. I know how to use it. I know how this one works, but I'm just not the type of person to use this type of technology, okay? I'm just stubborn like that. But it's not because it's bad. It's actually very dope. And if you guys may need some assistance with your tracks, this will be a great tool to use, but just not for me. Now let's go ahead and open up Logic Pro 11 and see what this stem separation is all about. And let's see what this Chroma Glow is about as well. But before we do that, I do have to mention this. The stem separation will not work on the older iPads. You have to have a M1 chip or better inside of your iPad to work. So if you have one of those older iPads, everything else will work except for the stem separation. It has to be an M1 chip or higher. So don't come in my email saying, hey, Bolo, I can't find the stem separation. It's not working on my iPad. It's because you probably have an older iPad. You have to have a M1 chip or better. So let's go ahead and open up the new Logic Pro 11 and check out the new features right now. All right, so we're in Logic Pro right now. I have a sample that I pulled up from Splice. I have used this sample before on using other stem separation tests, and I'm gonna do it again and uh, we're gonna see how this thing turns out. So it's very easy to open up this whole stem separation, stem splitter tool that they call it inside of Logic. All you have to do is go right here to functions, but make sure that you have this track highlighted. So, you know, make sure you have the track highlighted, go to functions and then go to stem splitter. And then what it does is it's gonna ask you uh, what you wanna split this up in. And I wanna keep all the parts in here, go and hit split. And then there it is, it makes our own track stack with all the splits in here. So if we play everything back, um, it has the uh, the original track already muted for you, and then we can play everything back solo. So if we wanna play the uh, vocals. Ooh. Ooh. Just can't stop loving you, girl. Can't stop. Which that doesn't sound bad right there. Let's go ahead and play the drums.
Not bad. Sounds pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, bass guitar. Don't sound bad either. Now let's hear the melodic parts in here, or the other parts as they call it. Don't sound too bad. So if we play everything inside the track stack, plays back really nice. Sounds really good. Sounds really good. Now, the cool thing about this is with this being in the track stack, if we go over to the mixer side, as you guys can see, we have all the individual parts, or we can go ahead and close the track stack and then just go ahead and use this kind of like an aux channel where we have everything in it. But you can actually open this up and then mess with all the parts. If you want to turn down the volume, add certain effects, whatever, to each one of the stacks. So we can turn this down. Know, turn this down turn up the vocals and as you can see the main track stack is actually still playing the output of everything too so you can actually use this like an aux track really but um you know you can control the overall volume and everything in it as well so you can do that and then you have all of the remaining you know track stacks or the splitter parts to to go through and do what you want to do now what I want to do is I actually want to add something to this and I want to kind of do this in a way where it makes sense. So I want to actually add this uh, new chroma glow to the drum track. So let's go ahead and add that in there. So let's go right here to chroma glow and we're going to go to a stereo. And as you guys can see, it has a modern tube on it. So let's go ahead and just solo this real quick and then see how this thing sounds. So this is how it sounds, just basic default. Let's get us a little volume. And let's turn the drive up a little bit. Okay, got a nice little sound to it, cool. Let's change the style of it to uh, colorful. Okay. That's cool. Let's go to a different one. Let's go to a retro tube. Let's see how this sounds. And then we're going to turn this up. Let's go to colorful. And I'm really exaggerating this so you guys can hear it. So you, as you guys can see, it kind of squashes it a little bit. Okay, cool. And now let's go to, uh, let's go to squeeze. Let's see how this sounds. Let's turn this up. Oh. Let's go to hard press. All right, so as you guys can hear, it's really squeezing <laughs> that track a lot. And you have other parameters in here. We can bypass certain things below a certain frequency. We have a low cut and a high cut as well. But the thing that I like about this is we have a mix knob right here, so we can actually mix in what we want, like a wet and dry signal. So we can actually take this mix knob and turn this down and kind of blend in both of the signals. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Turn that down. And 
And as you guys can see, with adding the saturation, all it's doing is pulling out certain harmonic frequencies, but it's not turning up the volume even though it feels like it's getting louder. So that's actually very dope. Now this plugin actually comes with a whole bunch of different presets in here. They have stuff for your bass, your drums, your guitars, your keys, your melodic parts, and a master bus on here, which I know a lot of you guys could really use because it'll bring out the life of your song. And they have stuff for your vocals as well. So this is actually a very, very dope plugin that works very well. It's very subtle in ways, but it's very present in other ways. But uh, this will be a nice little plugin, especially for you guys who want to add saturation but don't want to have too much stuff to work with. It is just a straight to the point type of a plugin. And I think it's very dope. And I think a lot of people can actually use it. All right, there it is. Kind of dope. Sounds good. Sounds good. So if you guys are not Logic Pro users, I will have a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and pick it up. But as you guys can see, it's actually kind of dope. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.